What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. So I have been looking at these products for a little while now. Uh, they're competing products, one is the gel tabs, one is the grip it, and the primary reason that I've been looking at them is for the Xbox One. I don't find that co that controller to be that comfortable. I don't really like that ridge that's kind of around the edge of the thumb pad. So I decided I'd try out both of them and kind of give you a review, see how I enjoyed both of them. Also today I've got a little bit of a bonus. I was also at GameStop and found this guy. This is the PlayStation 4 Players Kit. Uh, basically all it includes is a USB charging cable and a silicone skin for your controller. So I figured I'd add that one in today because it's kind of a related thing. Kind of a uh, ghetto upgrade your <laughs> controller. You know, it's not a full modification. It's just kind of a bunch of add-ons. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open these suckers up and I'm going to show you how they're installed. And then the third part is going to be a review. So wait for that at the very end of the video. So let's get to the installation. All right, as you can see, we've got four controllers all laid out, ready to get installed. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is start with the gel tabs on the PlayStation 4. As you can see here, these are just kind of silicone kind of covers that just wrap around the controller. Should be easy enough to install. They're pretty soft. Um, and actually, the PlayStation 4 has had a lot of issues where... This is actually harder than I thought it would be. Let's see here. There we go. The PlayStation 4 has actually had some issues where the cover on the uh, thumbstick itself wears out prematurely. I've heard a lot of reports of those things just kind of falling apart. So this may or may not help protect that, that little piece of rubber. So hopefully your PlayStation 4 thumbstick won't wear out prematurely. Um, time will tell. It's unclear if these will help that situation or if it'll actually hurt that situation. But as you can see, they're installed. Um, I can tell you right off the bat that they are very, very tacky. And it actually feels pretty good to my thumbs uh, initially. So let's do the same thing. These are the gel tabs on the Xbox One controller. I would assume this is going to be a little easier because the thumbstick is a little bit smaller. So you know what I'm going to try and do here is just wrap this thing inside out and uh, just kind of flap it over, see if that works a little easier for us. Not really. Let's see here. Hopefully, once they're on there, they stay on pretty good. Uh, let's go. There we go. I think we got that one on pretty much. Yeah. All right, let's do the other one. And uh, the nice thing about both of these is they came with enough of them so that you can kind of customize the colors. Like if you want black and green or you want blue and black or whatever. Uh, you can customize that, which is, a, you know, that's cool if you're into that. I went with the color ones because they're a little easier to see on camera. And once they're on there, they add a little height to your controller. But I do notice that this one is actually sticking to the controller. It's actually the silicone underneath is actually touching the sides of the controller and adding some resistance. So right off the bat, I don't like that. That's a bummer. This one, no problem. This one, we might be able to adjust it out of there a little bit. Let's see here. But yeah, it's rubbing. And uh, that's pretty much going to be a no-go, I think, for that. So now let's try the Grip It. We'll start with the Xbox One. There's a little less material there, so that may solve the problem with it rubbing. Let's see here. Now, both of these were branded for either the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One when I bought them off of Amazon or GameStop. Okay, this one definitely fits the Xbox One better. There's no rubbing. Uh, it's not as t tacky as the gel tab. Like, so it doesn't actually feel as uh, sticky to your finger, uh, but considering it doesn't actually touch the controller, the bottom part of the controller, I gotta say, this is pretty much useless. Um, because it touches down there, I mean, that's that's gonna be a deal breaker for me. This one doesn't touch, therefore, it's better. <laughs> Let's try this one on the PlayStation 4. Get that on there. Pretty good. They're a little testy. This would probably be easier if I wasn't trying to film it. Okay. <laughs> Just 
wrap that on there. Now the PlayStation 4 thumbsticks are a little bit bigger than the Xbox One, so it's probably going to be a little tighter of a fit uh, because these are the exact same. They're, they came out of the same package. They can be used on the, basically any controllers, the way they sell them. Uh, so as you can see, they're installed. Um, they look like they touch, but they actually don't. It's just kind of overlapping the uh, edge there because it's tapered down on the controller itself. So there's no resistant issue. There's nothing there. Uh, and they feel fine. They don't feel that much different than the regular PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, it's not like the gel tabs that they're actually raised up a little bit. And uh, these feel much tackier. So while we're here, well, let's try installing the silicone skin. This seems to be going on fairly easily. It's got a bit of a powdery coating to it. All right, seems to fit pretty well. This is actually made by Sony, so it's not like a third party skin. And, uh, you know, not much to it really. It, uh, it fits and that's all it's gotta really do. Uh, it makes the whole controller feel bigger and fatter in your hand. Uh, only time will tell if that's preferable, but uh, I'm gonna do some playing with them and I'll bring my review in the next segment. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I've had some pretty extensive playtime with all four of these controllers now, both the PlayStation 4 with the gel tab and with the grippets, and same goes with the Xbox One. Uh, okay, so let's start with the PlayStation 4 because actually I have diff different recommendations based on what console you're buying these things for. So on the PlayStation 4, I really recommended these gel tabs. I found that the top of these is really grippy. It raises it up just a hair. If you're familiar with something like the FPS Freaks, it has a similar uh, effect where by raising your thumb up a little bit, you get a little more... Uh, a little more accuracy here. Uh, it wasn't as great an effect as the FPS Freaks, but it was a similar effect. I really actually prefer these than these Grippets on the PlayStation 4. On the PlayStation 4, it did have a tendency to snag just a hair right up here, uh, but actually as I start, continued to play, that effect lost. It must have just worn that little bit off. Uh, I actually think these gel tabs look like they're slightly better made than the Grippets, uh, but that may be just customer, uh, that may just be preference, so that's really up to you, but I really preferred the Grippets, or I'm sorry, the gel tabs over the Grippets. On the Xbox One, it's no comparison. The Gel tabs just don't work on this right stick. Uh, as you can see, I know that I ripped up this box a little bit. As you can see, these are branded to work with the Xbox One, uh, but they just don't fit. They interfere with the range of motion and it's quite distracting and it definitely will slow you down in a quick game like Call of Duty or Titanfall. So I really, I can't recommend these for the Xbox One because they just don't fit as well as they should. The Grippets, however, they fit fine. Uh, they do solve the problem of having that rough texture here. So if you don't like the texture on the Xbox One controller, then I'm just gonna leave that off. <laughs> then yeah, I do. I prefer the Grippet over the standard Xbox One controller. I'm a little disappointed because I would have liked to see the gel tab work a little better because I do prefer the gel tab feel over the Grippet feel. But on the Xbox One, the gel tab doesn't fit. So the grip it is better. So that, oh, I almost forgot about the silicone skin for the PlayStation 4. So this basically had no effect for me. <laughs> um, the only effect it had was that it makes the whole controller feel bigger. So if you find the PlayStation 4 is a little cramped, if it doesn't fit your hand, if you got big hands and you could use a little more, a little more material there, it did work for that. I found that on the back, this little strap got in my way. Uh, however, it stayed in place. It feels fine, it doesn't feel particularly plush or like uh, it doesn't have enough kind of like ribbing to like wick sweat away, uh, but it, does, it did feel bigger. So if that is your primary complaint with the PlayStation 4 controller, you might wanna check this out because it definitely makes it feel bigger. So that is gonna do it for this review. Again, for the PlayStation 4, I would recommend the gel tabs and for the Xbox One, I would recommend the Grip It. Thanks guys for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.